Ashley because they get inspired by your show. It's better than drugs. It, how, yeah, can, no. how can anybody explain the use of drugs, for yes, instance? Exactly. Why would any or and rock climbing? Impulse. You know, it's man, in, what human beings. I think we have an innate uh, need for something, for a thrill, for a kick. Yes. And some people find it uh, in uh, driving their cars insanely fast. What's, what's this big fascination with Pakistanis and speed? Because even back in the UK, it's a big thing as well, honestly. It is nowadays, it's wow. like hell of racing. Yeah. You see 350s, you see RX-8s, RX-7s yeah. going around, Supras, yeah. Lotus Elise. Yeah. You can find uh, even Lamborghini Colorado in Pakistan right now. Yeah. Ferraris, yeah. Ferrari, F50s over there. You know. So there's every type yeah. of car? Yeah, yeah, every exactly. type. This is more like an adrenaline rush, yeah. you know? You, you know, when you're driving on the road, yeah. you kick it down a gear, you you know, you just short shift your car, yeah. you just keep going faster. In the UK, you know, you like to you like to look good for the ladies, you know. But I've been about Karachi, I've not seen any women about that you can show your car off to. Well, it's kind of different these days. I mean, girls aren't what they used to be anymore out here. There's a lot more freedom, you know, girls can go out, not worry about stuff, you know, so. Do they go for guys with nice cars? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, that, that's, sure, that's sure. definitely. But boys into modified cars didn't really feel like anything new to me. What was really catching my eye was the modified trucks. These acid trips on wheels made Karachi's roads look like real life art galleries. But no one I met seemed to be talking about them. In Pakistan, pimping rides is a tradition that predates the TV revolution by centuries. Crawling around the truck stops of Karachi, I met Duria Kazi an artist and academic who has written a thesis on Pakistan truck decoration. She cuts an unusual figure in these places, but it's here where she thinks Pakistan's unsung artistic heritage yeah, lies. So what are you showing me? You know where we're we going? Because I'm feeling well, a little bit scared right here. <laughs> no, 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 don't be scared. Don't be scared? Don't be okay. scared, don't be scared. Right. They're artists. What are you showing me just now? There's a, a, a tanker that's been made right. and it's beautiful. This is all called Chamak Patti. This is not printed. Yeah. It looks like it's printed, but if you run your hand on it, you'll see. It's not. It's not. It's and each stickers. piece, yeah, so basically it's like reflective stickers. stickers. Wow. Truck decoration, I discovered, goes beyond the ornamental. The way a truck is decorated is effectively its license plate. From it, you can get information about its place of origin, the caste, class and social standing of its owner. It's not a cult or a phenomenon. Getting your truck decorated is as common as putting petrol in it. In fact, many truck owners often spend more time on their trucks than they do in their houses. This is a completely new crazy sticker which I just love. Yeah. Which is this guy with a gun. Yes. Which looks the most unlikely gun. It's yes. something between an aeroplane and a gun. Yeah. And then the name Avara. Yeah. You know, it belongs to Balochis. I asked them what does Avara mean for them. Freedom maybe? And it's a free roaming yeah. with no you know, and I think yeah. that's what it is. I I asked them why they look after it so yeah. well, polish it, clean it. And they say, Well, this is our home. We yeah. actually spend more they time. They actually here. regard the truck as their home. As their home. The people I was meeting through Duria were just as talented and passionate as the modern Karachites had met. But they weren't on the radar when it came to exposure. I asked Duria why. It's a, it's a class thing. Uh, this kind of stuff is acknowledged, unfortunately, in a kind of exotic, exoticism yeah. bracket. Yeah. But for people like us, it's not about exoticism. Yeah. It's it's sort of real because the way the poems are, the way the images are, yeah. I think they're stories of our times yeah. and they tell you uh, who is the latest hero, yeah. what's going on. So I feel it's for us, it's real art. To me, these trucks represented real street art, like the